The House of Representatives has raised concerns over the devastating effects of the use of drugs capable of destroying human mentality. This formed part of discussion amongst lawmakers at the lower chamber. Joke Adisa reports. Nigeria's drug law agency in its recent data disclosed that about 14.3 million Nigerian youths between 18 and 35 years are deeply involved in the abuse of drugs. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues. A motion on the urgent need to sensitize Nigerians on the danger of a widespread meth epidemic and effect of crystal meth on the youths corroborates the agency's fears. Henry Umwawuba from Imo State says most homes in the southeast are currently facing dangerous effects of the drug. An estimated 75% of the users in our society are adversely affected and they have become a burden to their families and communities. Since 1990, the production of crystal meth has been hijacked by Mexican drug dealers who set up laboratories in Nigeria. The motion elicited extensive debates as members related to the dangerous trend in the abuse of drugs. You will find 11, 12-year-olds taking this meth. I mean, so really, what kind of future are we expecting these young ones to have? NDLA alone cannot be able to solve this problem. We need other sister agencies that can talk together, even including security forces. Another motion sponsored by Ogun lawmaker Isiaka Ibrahim resolved to probe dealings and activities of travel agencies involved in the movement of citizens in and out of the country. This is a time that we need to really find out the root cause analysis to be conducted, look and fish out the culprits. They are among us. We see them nearly daily. We see them around us. Some under suspicion. Some people have even been caught in the act. How have they been able to escape justice? To forestall incessant robbery attacks in his constituency, Afolabi Rashid from Oshun State sought legislative interventions. Within this, this year alone, three distinct bank robberies incidents are taking place in the remaining two local government areas. And that made up the federal constituency, thus subjecting residents to perpetual fear, economic woes as a result of the relocation of all banks to neighboring communities. We are seeking to provide legal backing to the Society of Nigeria Broadcasters and provide for the regulation and conduct of the practice of broadcasting profession in Nigeria, scaled second reading. Jokeyatsa, TVC News. Abu.